how to ensure you make real margins in your painting business. I've had a business coach for a fair while and his frustration has always been uh, that I wasn't that interested in the numbers to the point that he was gonna sack me. I've had to kind of sharpen up a bit and really learn about the numbers. When you first start out in your painting business, to be honest, you're just happy to get some work, you know, like you think about it. You're just starting a business, you just wanna get a job, make some money, pay your bills and all that. And that's kind of how most people start out in business. They don't wanna to be too expensive because they think that, you know, if they're too expensive, they won't get the job. But what happens is, if you, do, if you are a little bit more expensive, you have to add more value. And so one of the ways that we make better margins in our painting business is we promise painters to clients whenever the uh, client wants them. So if someone rings me and they need it, if they ring me on a Wednesday and they need a painter on a Friday or something like that, we can make it happen. But obviously people pay a little bit more for that. So long story short, this is how I work out our margins in, the, in a painting business. I'll have a look at the job, I'll work out how, how many days that the, the tradesman, the painter is going to take to do the job, because he has his daily rate that I pay him, then I work out all the costs of the materials, and then I, and then I have to allow some, something for my overheads, like there's fuel, there's telephones, there's, also, there's rent for sheds and ladders and all the overheads in a painting business as well. Often people forget to charge for, the, for your overheads. So I work all that out and then my business coach has made a software package where I put all this information in, in the numbers, press the thing, press the send, not send, calculate, that's the button. And it comes up with my margin because I have a specific margin I make on each job. And then it's like, it's like a system, like a good system. Like every single time we do the same thing on every job. And that's what you want. You don't want to be guessing your price, you know. You, you want a, a fair price, and it needs to be fair to the tradesmen because they need to get paid what their daily rate is that you've negotiated with them. You've got to pay for all your materials, and then you got you need a margin for your business. So I think a lot of painting business don't put a, have a margin for their business, or if they do, it's nowhere near enough. So Anyone out there that has a, a business, painting or not, and you want to talk to me about uh, margins and how to get paid what you're worth, because this is a great subject, this made all the difference to my business. I promise you, this is the one thing when I learned to charge the right amount for what we do, I changed everything. So if you uh, feel like you're working hard and you're not making the money that you deserve or you feel like you're working hard, banging your head against a brick wall, it's because your margins aren't high enough. So contact me and let's have a chat about how we can help you. You have a great day. Ciao for now.